is a story about three men and a baby, and when the baby starts talking, <laughs> it becomes, look who's talking. Um, can you answer this one? Okay. <laughs> 21 and Over is a story about three friends, one crazy night, we drag you through the mud of the night, and it also has some real uh, grounded friendships, and you get to see kind of how your friends get to call each other on their own BS, yeah. and uh, it's got the spirit of Hangover and Super Bad and Animal House, and. And Sarah's in it, and I say things sometimes, and it's my favorite movie that I've ever done. Wonderful. All 21 over. It's, it's a riot. fun, man. It's uh, yeah, it's it's a really funny movie. I think we we kind of push the limits a little bit with the rated R. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of girls. There's a lot of male nudity for our female yeah. fans. We made it it's fair, funny. fair for everybody. Yeah. There's some women nudity, but there is a gratuitous amount of male nudity. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So you're as you're welcome. You're... <laughs> no problem. Thank you. I enjoyed it. I am super psyched to see Jeff Chang. Are we sure it's cool to surprise him like this? Yeah, dude, as his oldest friends on Earth, we have a moral obligation to get him drunk as f Jeff Chang! So as you're watching the movie, you can't help but to think what a wonderful experience it was. How fun was it to shoot this movie? So much it was, fun. It was a good yeah, time. Yeah, it was a good time. Justin's like, Justin's my homie. Mm -hmm. Like, after this movie, we still we're homies. party and chill and yeah. hang out. Yeah. Bros? Yeah. Total bro bros. down a little Super bit. Bro. You might yeah. say we're bromosexuals. Yeah. Sarah, you know, your character in the movie is so sweet. Did you draw from your own personality, or do you have a certain edge to your personality? No, I'm a total bitch. <laughs> and yeah. so, so uptight. This was... So uptight. <laughs> Tyler <laughs> agrees. <laughs> so mean. No, I mean, I do. I feel like these characters are all kind of a big piece of us. Truthfully, now knowing these boys and um, and you know Nicole, I felt like I really drew from my own life um, on her sort of free spirit, loves to travel, wants to go like figure out who she is. You know, um, that that I really connected with that. Listen, I can't go out tonight. Jeff Chang, you're 21 years old now. Your a-hole dad isn't here anymore. Dick Wads, he's totally here. Yep, that's definitely his voice. Right? Your interview is at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Be rested, be sharp, do not embarrass me. So, Skylar, you're riding out this way from Pitch Perfect, where you're pretty, you know, a good guy. Yeah. How do you think your fans will perceive your, this character in the movie? Oh, that's a good question. I think, um... They're gonna fall even more in love with Of him. course. Do you think so? I do. You don't know um, how many people want to meet you at UT. <laughs> well, I'm gonna come <laughs> and Definitely. hang out. Um, I don't know. You know what I think is cool is, like, uh, I'm growing up with them. You know, now I go from... I, fresher, you know, thing to now a guy that's got a little bit more flaws. Like Casey's kind of neurotic. He's he's not as like adorably effervescent as Casey as um, Jesse was. And uh, yeah, I think it's just a different side of me, but he does still have a big heart and uh, I think they're going to like it. Jeff Chang, this isn't just any birthday. This is your 21st birthday. This is the day that you become a man. This is the day that you get to tell every bouncer who's ever carded you. 21. So in this movie, your characters do everything from kissing a male co-star to wearing nothing but a stuffed animal. Yeah. What was the most awkward scene for y'all to film, and how do you prepare for those awkward scenes? It's probably scenes? when Justin had to kiss Skylar. Yeah. <laughs> I would say I, it was probably the weirdest, uh, weirdest scene. Skylar's tongue is like sandpaper. Uh -huh. It's all rough. <laughs> it's, it, his tongue is like sandpaper to all the women out there. His taste buds are all like prickly and nasty. So I should tell everybody back who's fangirling over him to just. Uh -uh. Yeah, no. like the Go guy. Go for y'all. Miles and Justin sing, now. Like, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. it's all because it's because of his tongue. Yeah. At the University of Texas, I was told to ask, you know, the number one question: Are you guys single? I'm married. You're married. He's oh, single. so I'm disappointed. Single. I'm single. So I'm gonna have some happy ladies at UT. Happy ladies. You're at gonna UT. have to come to ATX now. I yeah. don't know what that even means, but I'm Austin, there. Texas. Oh great! I thought you meant that was like that was like a Greek like yeah yeah like, sorry. No, no ATX. <laughs> well, thank sorry. you so much, y'all. It was a pleasure, pleasure. to talk yeah, to you. Absolutely. Thanks, thanks for coming. Get down immediately. What are you doing, sir? I think he's getting down. Yeah, I know, I see that. I'm just saying, technically, he's doing what you asked him to do. Don't fall in the river, and the beat goes on and on.